All right, folks. Welcome to another segment of the Stack with Nat show. Today is Sunday, April 27th. Maybe you can see in the backdrop, it's still daylight out. Saturday, yesterday we had a, a big, uh, what was that word? We were, a big litany of litany. games. Had a uh, bunch of games. Today, not so much. Four games on the uh, docket. On the docket today, the Cowboys played two games, won both of them. Coach Al Harvey defeated his division nemesis, the Giants, uh, 35 to 21. And then he came back and beat the Bills, coached by uh, Kern Robinson, 28 to 21. Joe Greco from New York, big Giants fan. He was in town on the day, played two games. Joe dropped two toughies. As we said before, he lost to the Cowboys. And uh, he played the 49ers. He lost 21 to 16. The only other game we had today was uh, Coach Norris McCraw and his Bengals defeated young Nafis Robinson and his uh, Houston Texans 21 to zip. Uh, like I say, the uh, playoffs is getting hot and heavy. We're one week away from Mother's Day weekend, which obviously on Sunday we won't be here at the pub. But today, that playoff picture is starting to come into view now. Smokestack, what do you got to say? That crystal ball is not so foggy anymore. Let me tell you, I've talked to a couple coaches today. I got to the wreck myself. You know, I had to get some sleep after yesterday. You had a busy day. Yes, I did. I took a couple of myself. But the coaches that are at or near the top of the leaderboards are starting to talk. It's not that politically correct talk anymore. They're starting to stake a claim for what they believe is what is legitimately theirs, and that is division crown. So I'm starting to hear some chatter, and we're going to talk a little. We'll talk a little bit about today's games first. I was a little disappointed in Joe Greco. I mean, no, Joe, no, I was disappointed. Joe played tough. Uh -huh. the gaming against the Niners, it was, it was, it was back and forth. You know, we had a little disagreement on a down play, but we got it through. No, it wasn't. It wasn't that, Corey. What my history with Joe, and I've been first of all in the hobby for a long time. I've been playing actively since 97. Right. Uh, and, and the game I love since my first Childhood, 620, right. you know. Exactly. 68 or 69 was my first 620. But anyway, I ran into Joe on the way, on, coming out of the lot. <laughs> Came out of the lot, and I was born in 57. <laughs> I saw Joe standing outside, and, and I think he was trying to get a signal and make a call. I said, Joe, how'd you do? He said, not well. He said, my defense is it's just I'm not playing well. I missed passes. I lost 35-21. Right, to, the, to yeah. the Cowboys. Well, my first thought, and, and the, all due respect to Joe, he's a great player. You can't win these big games scoring 21 points when you're up against somebody that is an offensive right. juggernaut. 21 points isn't going to get it done. It should, though. And he said, he said that his defense, mm -hmm. which has historically been his downfall, and it, to me, it let him down in the Al game. And then I had an opportunity to watch Al play uh, Kern, Kern. in the Bills, right. And, and you know, again, Al, you know, he laid 28 points on him. I saw a little bit of your game with, with uh, Joe. In the Giants, right. Where, Giants. where the Niners prevailed 21-16. And I'll tell you again, 16 points. And of that 16, you tell me, what, what was the breakdown of those 16 points? Touchdown? Well, he got down close. He got in, he got in close in the red zone, and I was able to hold him a couple sacks. You know, my white base coming in, and uh, right, so I mean Joe seven. Joe 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 has an automatic field goal kick, so he's going to take points. So he took he took one chip shot, which should, should have been a touchdown. He kicked one field goal, sixty two yards, and I forget the third field goal. Three field goals. Three field goals, and he had the ball at the end of the game. He did. To, to, to win it. He could have won. He could have won. He has two passes down the end. Uh, one easy and then one was a little tougher. So, I mean, I was I was fortunate. You know, Joe usually hits those clutch passes uh, a couple look, years ago. Look, a couple years ago, we did a, uh, I did a little survey thing of the top coaches 
top 64 coaches of first 64 years of electric football. I think Joe was voted number 17 in that that countdown, 64 coaches. So Joe Greco is no slouch. You know, every time I get a chance to play him, it's always great sportsmanship. He's a gentleman. So uh, if I had my hat on, usually I have my hat on. I take my hat off to Joe. Well, we're not we're not hate here to hate. <laughs> no, no. My point no. is, you can't get me my, to hate Joe Greco. No, I didn't say that. My point is, this was a weekend. Right. That he, he needed did, to stay. Yes, he did. Okay. He said that. He did. To a man. I always say that. That's Troy Aikman. I'm, I'm <laughs> taking Troy Aikman's line. To a man, he said, Corey, when I came down here, I had to at least get a split or win two right. to keep his pl playoffs hopes alive. He took he took two L's. I don't know where he's going to end up in the mix. We still don't know with Andrew, if Andrew Stewart is watching the question, if we don't know, if he drops out, he falls down, that puts another team in the NFC in the mix for getting into the big game. So Joe Greco, you know what I mean? Don't hang your chin. I know he won't. It's a chance he could get back in there. Still a lot of games left. It's a lot of guys in. have two, three, four games left. Right. Some have more. Right. But uh, why don't we talk a little bit about Given that we have what 18 yesterday, four games today, that's 22 mm -hmm. electric football games. Nowhere, nowhere, nowhere across the country nowhere. Yeah. do you play 22 games in a weekend, right? And you don't even put a and we have to talk about it. And you don't even put a dent in your schedule. Right. We had uh, what last week, Matt Elf. We were feeling pretty good last night. Had a couple of interruptions. Today was a little more muted. Drinking mm -hmm. some shock top here. We had right. a fireball. Corey had a Long Island ice. And tea. you lit up. And I'm, you feel I got it. a little bit of buzz, and you know, <laughs> I'm gonna apologize up front if I if I sound <laughs> a little. Is. I'm gonna say what's on my mind. At this point, right? We're in the end of I the have season. eight losses. I can't say anything. Right. I'm a loser. You okay? are. Okay. But you can count on this. Listen, I want to know: Will Smoke you finish? Stack. Will you finish 500? Who's your last game? I gotta play Andrew. I don't think I'm gonna get off that Mendoza. <sighs> but you know what? What if he gets? If he if he gives you the forfeit and then you finish I'll take eight it. and eight. You finish eight and eight, right? I'll be satisfied. Wow. It's like a gentleman's seat. You know, when you're in school and you know you don't deserve to pass. Teacher and likes teacher, you or something. Teacher likes you, you're cute. He gives you like a, a C plus and you pass. And you move on to the next grade. Because if it's a guy teacher, he might like your exactly. mom or something. Whatever, like yeah. Right. It's called a gentleman's seat. Right. And that's what I'm hoping to get this year, a gentleman's seat. Because anything else, at the end of the year, we're, we're going to do midseason grades. Right now, if I had to grade myself, I'd be looking at a D minus. D minus. Wow. Yeah, I am totally I, honest with you. I, well, yeah. I want to apologize to our viewers. Um, we're, we're here at the beautiful Delhi's Delhi's Pub on Sunday. Something is up with the Wi-Fi. You know, we don't we're not broadcasting through our usual the iPad Air with right. the uh, Wi-Fi. Actually, using a little seven-inch tablet uh, off the Verizon network. I'm not sure of the audio or the visual, so just want to apologize to our viewers. And we have been getting viewers that people want to see this. We well, were down in the bar. We were like, ah, are we going to do it? Are we going to do it? People have, want it. Well, they, they had want four it. games today. Not much to say, but. Well, not, no, it's, it's a lot to say, but not much games to go over. Stack's feeling a little juice tonight. Stack, so. well, people want to hear like, what Stack wants to say. All right, well, you know. What well, do you want to do, Stack? What I'll tell you right go? now, I just want to digress a moment. You know, I'm, I may not make the playoffs, but you can <laughs> count on one thing. <laughs> the weeks leading up to the Super Bowl, you're going to get some good commentary from me. I'm going to dissect yes, teams. I'm going to give you the pros, the cons. I'm going to give you the real deal. And like I said earlier today, a couple people came up to me, some good coaches. They're starting to talk playoffs already. And I know yeah. Al came to me. Al came to me in my game. He, you know, he saw me winning. He said, so I got my division already. Al Harvey, Cowboys. Wow. I said, I don't know, Al. I'm like, I'm still trying to win this game. And uh, I hadn't got a chance. You know, Al's, Al always thinks it makes him a good coach. Al thinking ahead. a play ahead yeah. ahead All he's time. always ahead yeah. so he you know he sees Joe's with that many losses the Giants you know Joe Greco he saying was I only have this many games I can't I said well Joe I'm in out if you say it I'm going with it I'm That's not it. all right 
So we can just pencil in. We did when we did our first show. Right. When we had James Nicholson, we had Al well, winning that let's, division. Let's just that's, go across the Al. divisions real quick. I'll I'll lead the discussion. Okay. If the season were to end today. Right. Okay. And we were gonna start making playoff brackets. Right. right. We'll start with the NFC. NFC East. That's Al Harvey in Division Any, One. Anybody pushing? No, Joe. I don't. Unless Andrew drops out, no, Joe is still on the bubble. Okay, so we got Al is in in the NFC. East. Right, maybe a one or two seed. Okay, okay. one or two seed. Then uh, you go to the NFC North. Okay. Keith Chalmers. He's now he's what, twelve and two. He's got one loss. Keith Chalmers. NFC is really flying under the radar. I mean, Al's got a great record. I think Al has one loss or two losses. I can't really remember. But Keith Chalmers lost his first game of the season against Andrew up at the Essington. And he's ran off about 11, 12 games since then. So he, I know he has one loss. Andrew has three. We don't know where Andrew's at. So we're going to say Keith is in. So we got Allen Keith in. in. One, two seed between the uh, two of The question is, as I said the other week, I postulated, you know, if he's got games in Maryland, he's got to get them done. He's got to get them done. That's he has true. to come back here. He's got to get that done. Okay, he's still right. had two but games with Tampa Bay. Yes. Okay, but one way or the other, as Corey said, Maryland gets it done. They get it done. Okay, so, he's, so, he's, so he's in. What it sounds he's, like to me is that he'll probably win the division. If Andrew continues, he'll probably be the wall card. Right. So we got three spots right. out of six. Right. So now NFC. you're moving over to the NFC South. Darrell Bavard came down this weekend and picked up three wins. He beat your Vikings. Andrew gave him the forfeit. And then he smoked James Nicholson and the Panthers. Three wins. Not even close. He, he said, James Nicholson got a step up. He's got a beautiful board. No beautiful board, uh, pan design. Want to give a shout out to uh, Weird Wolf for coming up with that concept. Uh, I done made about four of them for the guys here. Shameless, um, gratuitous plug here, but, <laughs> <laughs> but you Ed know, Roche has one too. Ed Roche, uh, Hugh, Hugh, Hugh Moore, Hugh Moore has one. James Nicholson, With myself, three, four, and Ernie Grace. Ernie Grace got yes, one too. Ernie Grace got one. Oh, I thought Ernie had a board. He wanted his, he he see what daddy got. He wanted to step up. That's he got to pay for it. Or get that wife on the line. Tell him PayPal that money. So in the South, we've got Darrell. Any contenders behind him? Isn't oh, in the got, South, uh, Ephraim. Isn't he? So we got Ephraim. Ephraim and told me he only has five losses. Is that true? Four, maybe four. I mean, he I said think, he had five. I don't know. You look it up. He's, ah, I'll plug it up. Here's He's another five. shameless plug. Uh, my Samsung. Galaxy S5. 5S. 5S or whatever oh, they call it. It's the nice. Latest. The latest. It's nice. Battery, you know, they say the battery was good. I don't know. It ain't as good as I thought it would be. Nice, vibrant screen color. You haven't lost it. No, not yet. I, I've been with Corey at least 15 years. And I can tell you, every year, every other year, when cell phones were this small, when we had to flip, Right. And the eggshell, he always had the latest and greatest toy. I did. I was and up as we that fast stuff. forward to the day, he still has the latest and greatest toy. I try to keep up. You know? I have an iPhone, which is kind of a relic these days. Well, no, you can't you know go wrong with Apple product. All right, here we go. Saints, he, he's 9-5. 9-5. Darrell, Darrell, Darrell's 9-4. and Darrell's 8-4. and four. Darrell is 8-4. and four. Lions 8-4. and four. Saints nine and five. Okay. So that's the cutoff. Okay. Right. So, so I ask you the question. You tell me who's going to win the division, and if there's anyone. I said the round. Okay. I, I think in our previous show we can check the film. And but the I Saints have, said have a shot. And the Saints still have a shot. Okay. He has how many losses? Five losses. The row has four, but he has some tough games coming up. He does. I think he has Keith, who needs to win. He has a couple tough Cowboys. games. Yup. Cowboys. He has the Cowboys. Yup. Even though he hasn't lost, he never lost to Allen and Cowboys. We got some tough games. And he had the Packers, but Packers gave that game up. gave it up. So he's got a few games. What's right, so his record? Eight and four. That eight means he's got three games. So he's got. He's 12. He's, he's got, got four. Keith. And he's got. Al. I can't think two. of his other game. I can't think of him. Probably uh, Greg King, somebody maybe, like that. Maybe. But even though, I think he's going to win it. 
I mean, he okay. He talked so. We're, so we got it's two teams out of that division or one? One right now. Okay. So let's go to the West. Putting you on Not- the spot. <laughs> Put you on the spot. It's gonna Look, come what did I say? You ain't got to put me on the spot. Daddy speaks up. Uh-oh. I told you guys I was going to win that division. Uh-oh. I remember I beat Joe Greco. Who was, Joe Greco was a, a iffy game for me. I didn't know if I would win or lose. So um, today I was beat, I, that was home. a tough one. That was a home. I beat Joe. I'm sitting pretty. I got David L., who's never beaten me, and the rookie Hugh Moore. I don't, I don't, I'm, you know, no disrespect hey, to them guys. Well, I don't you think, Seattle again? Right. Even if I lose to Seattle, I still got a better record. I mean, I don't. Okay. I got it. I, right. I'm in. All right. So we'll put you there. I'm in. And Jamie is a definite wild card. How many losses is he? He's at? got four. I think Jamie has four losses. He's lost to Al. Who's he lost in the to South Keith. That has, that's he lost to Keith. Okay. Who else did he lose to? He lost to. He has four. He has four, doesn't right. he? Yeah. yeah. So it sounds like he's going to be in the playoffs because he, the, the next he, wild card in the NFC four losses. will have more than four losses. But if I beat him and, and be I give him five, I give him if I beat him and give him five losses, he's done. then he's on the bubble. Then he's go to tiebreaker with like guys like Ephraim, right? Maybe or Joe Greco or Andrew. It's going to be no, a dog Greco's fight. Got five losses now. Does he already? Yeah. And he don't think he. He's done. He's done. Yeah. I don't know. Can't count Joe out. Joe's still in the mix. Joe's in the mix. Andrew's in the mix. Darrell Ephraim's in the mix. Well, we saying if it ended the day right now, who would be in? So, uh, Joe Joe Greco, I think, would be out because he don't have any games played. No. But Joe Greco's in the mix. Andrew's in the mix. Ephraim's in the mix. Jamie's in the mix. Okay. All right, that's four teams playing for two spots because you got the four division winners that we already acknowledged, and four, and you need two more wild cards, and there's four teams that we just so they're fight fighting for, for fighting relevancy, you know, like, respectability. What, crabs in a bushel. You know how that crab, you know, trying to get out one crab. They say that a crab will pull down another crab, so they're fighting to get up out of that that bushel, right. out of that basket. And then one loss that you don't expect will put you back with the rest of the crabs. That pull you down. Ephraim is going to be kicking himself with a loss to you and your Vikings. I bet he looked at that that, How that, could that point happen? of win. How could that happen? How could that happen? He beat you before back in Essington a season ago. So that loss can come back to haunt that young man. Um, over the AFC, Creasy is, like I said, just a bear, just a man amongst boys right now. He's 14 and 0. We did a show yesterday, getting a lot of emails and texts. Damon Lucas felt thus disrespected that when we talked about the AFC scenario, we said Creasy, we said Adrian Baxter, we said William Chalmers. He said that's a slap in the face that he was. Don't talk about Damon. No, no talk about Damon. We have to, you know, right off the bat, he's a great videographer. (laughs) Makes good video. He does. Interesting guy. Figures. Figures are beautiful. Paint teams. Face talent's awesome. Travels well, started off strong, but you know it's kind of like if you're not here, you don't exist. Out of people, sight, out of mind. Exactly, and but basically he's, he's going to have to come back in and play kind of a protracted end of season playoff schedule. Yeah, we're going to have to kind of you know curtail it to make it. Um, I've been talking to him. He's going to come in on Friday. The Day before the playoffs start and play his uh, regular season games. I really think the ones that, that really matter is the Harold and Kenny game. Maybe we'll bring him over to uh, Harold. I'll take him over to Harold House. He can play in the basement. Kenny and, 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 and Harold. That'll be his regular season. See where he finishes up. Then that next day, Saturday, kicks off the playoffs. Play his wild card in his divisional round. What if he wins? He's, man, if he wins... On Saturday, if he wins his wild card and divisional round, maybe. I don't know who's in the championship, if it's Creasy or, or back. I don't know how it's going to all work out. Sunday, they could play 
the AFC Championship right there. I don't know if they'll agree to it. But definitely but, not the Super Bowl. He but no, no, back. no. The Super Bowl is going to be if he, two if he gets through June that, 21st, he'll have to come back. You got to be the at the Mayfair Center. Right. Oh, he's got to come back. And he knows that. If Damon wins all the way through, he's going to somehow kind of way get there. I know that. So And even if, he, faith if he didn't, it would still be considered a success to come into our league well, he's the made way the team, right? and play as well as he has. Okay. I mean, he, he, he went into the division that was tailor-made to make the playoffs. I told him when he signed out, I said, you're going to win the division. I mean, those guys, Kern's got to step his game up. We gave him the Easter egg on our Easter review. Right. You know, Anthony is a great guy, but, you know, he doesn't put the time in. Right. And, and then it, Manny just just dropped. You know, right. Manny we had a lot of coming in with a lot of things. So if you were going to select a team to come in, to the NFL as a rookie coach, that was the division to choose. That it was, was it. It was right for the taking. It was right there. You know, Kern did what he was supposed to do. I think his record now is like three and <laughs> ten. What they say, you are who we thought you were. You know? <laughs> right. Yeah, Kern's not a prom town player. I mean, he's it's just not there. He's not there. Yeah. Guy's got to work on the pass. You know, even Damon, he hasn't. It's not undefeated. He took a couple losses. Oh, he took. But he, he came, in, he he came into Essington, and I remember asking you after Essington. You remember we were at that little neighborhood bar in Essington? Right. And and he said, you know, Damon has the AFC East. That was back in February. Yes. Okay? This is almost May, and he still has the AFC East. He's got a stranglehold on it he because does. nobody wants to step. So the question is, where do we go from here? Well, it's going to be a, it's going to be some reshuffling next year. I mean, we looking ahead. I mean, this year I think we used the 2011 schedule uh, NFL to play by. I think next year we play the 2012. I gotta, I gotta look and make sure. But we're going to do some reshuffling of the teams. You know, we might even scoot Damon out of there. He might pick up the Broncos. Uh, Darrell, looking, he might jump over. Uh, no, no, Darrell might jump to the Broncos. Damon might jump to the Lions. There's a lot of talk. I don't want to go there right now, but there's a lot of guys, you know, looking to look. Lomax always looking to move. And you know what's interesting? Life imitates art. The NFL is talking about expanding, you know, Ooh. certainly to, to London and maybe Spain. Who knows? Maybe not this year, maybe right. not next year, but at some point, maybe I see Sanders. 34, 36 NFL teams. And we got and we that got would be for it. We exactly. got for it. And we have... 12 or 14 guys who are getting primed for it. Now. Right. They would they, love to play. They would love to play. The Naples are great. The, the, those guys is playing it's in the Naples. It's for them. It's great. It's not a big workload. I mean, the game's a little more laid back. They loving it. I mean, it, it, we're blessed. I don't know. I don't even really use that word a lot, but it's, it's, it's pretty fortunate, this uh, area that we live in. No Neffel games today? No Neffel games. It was surprising not to see uh, Lorenzo and Buford. They've been showing up a lot. Yeah, yeah we didn't uh, see them. Yeah, they didn't see them today. Like I said, it was a light, uh, light load today. Uh, Jamie came in and picked up his new creasy board. That's right. That's what... Norris, Norris came in and picked up a new Creasy board, too. Let's talk about boards. Let's talk about stadium board. expansion. <laughs> Just this year. Let's see. Vikings got a new board. Right? right. Let's see. Bears, no. Bears, no. Packers, no. Tampa no, Bay. no. Bears did. That big wide board that he played in that He made yeah, that's he, right, he, a he board. Yeah. That's two boards. He had Niners. Okay. Niners board. The Niners pan board. got a pan. That's three. That's uh... Well, we already Arizona, said Arizona four. Four. James Nicholson a pan board. We have four right. pan boards. Norris is getting a new board. You got it. Jamie. Yeah. Jamie got a new board. Yeah, it's uh, Creasy got a new board. Yeah, it's all about stadium expansion. You know? It's it's all about keeping that. You know what I mean? Like like every year I try to get something new to keep my fire going. If you know, one year I came with my silver 49ers. That was so exciting. Uh, then I came back to the current uniform with the, the, the Montana years. So every and then this year with the, with the uh, new board. So everybody's looking to uh, you know keep up with the Joneses, as they say. It's, it's a fun so, hobby. It's a, it's a fun couple hobby. things that the the scale of the field has changed. We've gone very to, much so. Very much so. Big change from 620 to now a larger board. I mean, some people have tried ridiculous. Hey, smokestack. Can you tell, remember the days of eBay bidding on them 620? Bids would get up to two, three hundred dollars. I know. I was in the mix. 
and made quite a bit of money trafficking <laughs> in 620 boys. 620s are giving away the kids now. The old vintage one. I mean, you might keep with the one that you had as a child, but I can remember 620s on eBay being in Three, Bitten Wars oh, yeah, with George Diamond. Right. His pockets were deep. I remember back in the day, you didn't know who, what your eBay handle was. It was the biggest. <laughs> it was the biggest secret. secret. <laughs> you never told your eBay. You handle. never told your eBay handle. Never. Ken Allen was Guadalupe. Guadalupe. Didn't know that for years. Right. James Cruz. We never. We still to the day don't know James Cruz, Bullock, Paul Dean. There was a lot of Philly sales in Jersey. Oh my sales. goodness! Yeah, He'd have it shipped to somebody else's house. Oh, uh, it was such a big secret. That was the old days. Secret act of EF trading called EF business. <laughs> business. B-I-D-N-E-S. <laughs> business. Exactly. Um, so we're winding down. Mm -hmm. And uh, the good news is today, even though I'm a little toasted, I'm going to go home. Oh. It's still light out. It's still light out. I got That's chips right. in the bank. That's it. As you can see behind us, back over, we're they looking at uh, Harbison Avenue. It's daylight, folks. This winds down a short uh, short game work week for, for the stack and I. I'm Corey National Johnson. This is Edward Smokestack Scott. Broadcasting live uh, via Ustream from Daly's Pub. Um, life is good right now. Uh, I want to just say uh, I booked my flight for the Bama Blast. Going mm -hmm. out there this year. First time. Looking uh, forward to that. No, I probably won't play. Just want to just take it all in and just see how it's all done. You know, I've been promising Dave Nichols and uh, Vance Warren that I would do that, and and I'm booked. I'm booked to go. Um, every every week I give a shout out to some. I want to give a shout out to my boy uh, Antonio Jones mm. of uh, Game Day Figures. You know, he came out. I met that guy, the, uh, he just got back in the hobby at a, a seawall brawl back out in his area, Portsmouth, Virginia. And, you know, he had the saucer eyes. He couldn't believe it. He was like, I want custom everything. He he was always hell-bent on customs. And I was like, well, Antonio, usually everybody don't have customs. You know, it's so expensive. He said, I want everything custom. Fast forward to today. Fast forward. This guy has the prettiest teams in the hobby. Bar none. Instead of like buying the customs, he now molds them and makes his own customs. His uh, teach a man to fish. That's it. He'll eat his, a lot. His figures. He he his uh, little logo was uh, I guess he went in with the t-shirts with uh, Darrell with the Capital City Clash. It was game day uh, figures on the uh, back of the oh, shirt. That was on the back of the yeah, 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 if you look at the shirts. Yeah, if you look at the shirts, Antonio, game so day that's figures. not with Chris Robinson. Man. He's on his own. I don't know. I, I, I really don't know if he's with a little bit of Chris, a little bit of Bruce, right. but Antonio is the front man. You know, you want the figures, you go to uh, Antonio. He hooked me up with a few Beautiful. figures. Beautiful. I got to get with him enough. Who does his detail? I don't know. The guy can even paint. Some of the pictures he puts on MFCA site is his own work. He's painting and decaling now. So I just want to take How about this. his bases? Well, his bases. He don't tweet. He buys. Wow. What does he buy at? First gen. The best? Of the best. Of the best. Like Top Gun. Like Top Gun. One of my favorite movies. Not one of. The favorite movie of all time, Top Gun, the national it's Top Gun. I the played him in a tournament one time, and I, you know, I've got some D bags, got a few frosties, and I, and I think I played a little decent defense. I didn't think that much of him, but he had a beautiful Miami team. And let me tell you, he, got he came team. out with all first gen receive. I could not cover that much time. Right. There was just too much. Oh, he's good. He's good. Unbelievable. And he's, and he's got and custom he's not a bad passer. He's not a bad passer. He's a great dude, guys. If you look into. Uh, up, update your team, look fancy, you know. Check out Antonio Jones. He's on our Philly NFL, you know, our email list. We have 50 guys on that email list that we sent. Like that. Something like that. So we got a big following, a big fan. And a lot group. of guys haven't learned to use email. It's like 2014. If I want to tell Corey what a crazy thought that I might have or a joke, 
I text him. Right. Or I email him. That it's right. just between me and him. Right. Okay? I don't reply to some note three weeks ago that has 57 people on it. That went to another 42. And then you picked the wrong thread and you reply for it all to that. Now it goes to 97 people. It goes viral. Right. What, why what, people why can't do learn that? I don't know. To use email, I don't know. Why does Jamie reply to every? Well, you know, I knew that was going to come up, but he's he's a good know. egg. He's a good egg. He's into the hobby. You, Kerr made a <laughs> Kerr made a point today. We were at the bar having a drink. He said you could email shake it, shake it, get it, get it, and Jamie replied to it. <laughs> he's got his own Facebook site now, doesn't he? I ain't going there. I ain't going there. I just wanted to give a shout out to Antonio, Antonio Jones, Jones and his and, game day figures. And we talked a little bit about Damon, right? Damon, oh yeah, Damon was, was part of let's, the uh, discussion. Let's throw a shout out for uh, our man, Simi Lassie. Whoa. Okay, Tuki. Tuki. Okay, if you're watching, or if anyone from Detroit, Great Lakes, Great Lakes please give our condolences. And well wishes. Right. Something with his son, uh, Jim, I talked to Jim. Some was murdered or something. We was just horrible. with him in Baltimore, and he, he was so happy. Oh man, he had his red so skin upbeat. hat. Yeah, I mean that he was. Bought. It was just a he positive vibe the whole time. Yeah, and, and, and then a week later, yeah, you know, a couple he's, weeks later, like he's, he's got to bury his son. So it's like so. Recently, um, one of our good friends uh, from Ohio, well, he lives in Kentucky or Indiana now, made him a box. Now Frank doesn't make those boxes for everybody. No. Okay, it's, I mean, it's select. If you got a Frank Jacobs uh, custom box, it, you are. It's a gesture of, of friendship. He doesn't ask for dime. No. Right. No. Not even materials. No. And he puts a labor of love. That's what, 10, 15 hours of work. I would imagine. I can imagine. Boxes. And then buying them, them pictures and the patches. Oh my God. Frank's gold. Awesome. So like I say, Ed made a good point. Tukey, um, I don't. I probably ain't looking at this. I know you got to like bunch of shit on your plate, but uh, Tuki, we love you. Just want to send our condolences to you, bro. That's like, I, you know, I lost a nephew a couple years back. My, my 11-year-old nephew died from asthma. Every day you think of that. That's, I mean, I just want to just say uh, we're here for you, and uh, you know, you got my cell. You know we're here for you, buddy. Alright? That's, that's for Tuki right there. Um, guys, we're going to sign off right now. Uh, the Stack with Nat show. Uh, we'll be back next week. We need more ammunition. We need some more people to take some losses. <laughs> some guys are saying. see some upsets. Some guys are saying the stuff we, we're saying, they use it as bulletin board. Now, oh, Stack, you, you're bulletin board material. I know you. I'm going to ratchet you it up. Not, you're not in the playoffs. So I, you're that's gonna, it. So I can say what I think. You can say what you want. I what you think, that. I'm going to say. Right. Okay, over the next couple of weeks. If you're thinking it. I'm saying. I'm saying. I'm laying low because I think I can make the playoffs. I'm laying low. I I just want to get one win. Just one. Just to get that monkey off my back. It's a gorilla. It is. I like 100 pound gorilla. One in the left. One in ten last. I ain't year. never ten said a word. I know it's a sore spot, so I it don't. Is. Pick it's it tough. That. It's I don't tough. pick at that scab. But <laughs> it's tough. You know, and so then if you I just get one. Start win. to think. You know what would the Super Bowl production in Philadelphia be without you? Running the catering, making sure all the lights and everything, and the mics. And no, everything, right? sometimes I but think. But if you had to play in the tournament, in the Super Bowl, it would be tough to do both things. Yeah, I mean, if I locked up and made the Super Bowl, but then then the know, food this is was your suffering. league. This is your city. This is your team. It's your time. I don't know. What's Name your my story? Time. No, I don't. I don't want people it. wondering. Not I'm almost, I'm almost ready the to like call Ohio back. I mean, I'm starting to wonder. I mean, this is your league, your team. Playoffs. Oh I no, stink. no, and you don't stink. It's it's got to be something else. I don't know. I'm jinx. I'm a hack. Somebody got a voodoo doll or something. It's I don't like know. A, I talk to Pep. How do you Pep handle that infectious? when you get a pretty woman? You finally, I mean, I mean, it happens sometimes where you just. You wasn't on your best. Exactly. You ate <laughs> They say, and they'll tell you, they say, oh, it's okay. Oh, they always tell you it's okay. It ain't but you okay. know what, guys? It's not okay. It's not. Okay? <laughs> so if you're anything like me, stack will <laughs> take a vitamin C. <laughs> Drink a little orange juice. A little, just to get over the top. Right, just to get over. Give you that well, it's, no, it's no vitamin electric football. It's just no. preparation. 
practice. I had to have more practice. I had a combine today. You I asked the guys, Ernie was there. I ran through 140 bases. You know how many made it through that cut? How many? Three bases. Wow. So that doesn't mean out. they're on the team, okay? But it means that they got through. Oh, because. Nice. Only good taste in tuna gets to be star kids. Only the how do you say it? Only the best tuna That's gets it. to be star kids. Exactly. That's it. Ernie helped me and and uh, Creasy. Creasy was here watching. Yeah. Um, I had Jim. a couple other people. Right. It was a good workout. Jimmy. I was I was playing yeah. uh, and we, Joe uh, Greco during that time. Went I heard through the bases and um, I found a couple guys that. But the problem is, I'm in the fifteenth. 14th week of the season. Yeah, it's too Where late. Where were to those bases? Right, right. It's too late. You stink, eh? You I stink. do. You stink. I'm terrible. Uh, uh, uh. D, okay. what was your grade this year? D? Well, we're not in the final grades yet, but if okay. I had to grade myself right, right now, now, well, you got Andrew. Give me a D minus. D minus. Oh, that's pretty honest. I think I'm going to give myself B plus. And you think, you think Andrew got off his game over the last couple of weeks? Wait till I see. I don't know. I mean, we get Andrew a couple of days to think about it. Everybody kept coming up. Did Andrew you have quit? Did Andrew quit? Did Andrew quit? I, I don't know. I haven't talked I to Andrew. I heard rumors of that. I don't. I don't think. No. I don't, I don't know. I don't. I, I just want to play golf. Some people, weather's nice. It was a perfect day for golf. I mean, I commend and Andrew for walking away. Because sometimes you get to a point. You know, I did it before. You play the guy. Say, they say something. You know, you. Did, before I go there, or lose, lose a way it. of getting under your skin. Yeah, you just say, you know, you got the game. So I, I come in. But it was you know, David Elka. So what? You know, you just don't want to be bothered. Well, what about with the Darrell game? He don't want to be bothered. He you was know what done. I think? I think it was good sportsmanship. Because what if he kept playing and then just tried to just nitpick? Then the, Keith and Andrew got to stop it. I told Keith downstairs yesterday. His son William was there. And William was like, yeah, you just, you know, you just ridiculous. You know, you act like two kids, Andrew and, and Keith. I mean, it wasn't just a, one fight. There was a multiple. Oh, those arguments. guys, they just yeah. got to stop. It. Yeah. So, I mean, I give Andrew credit. He, he he just got to a point where he was like, you know, he had enough. So, that's cool. Walk away, come back, play again. So, hopefully yeah. he'll be back. Well, we don't know. But, uh, folks, I don't, I don't know. You looking at me right now in the day, I'm looking at you. Did Andrew quit? Did they, what are he going to do? I don't know. You know? I don't know. Well, I haven't talked to him. He's still got to play Adrian. That's a big game. That's it's not like, for him. Well, That's a face game to me. You okay. think Andrew You think Adrian will beat him? I don't I know. Think, I think he's going to be fired up. I want to see that game. I know you viewers want to see it. How about we broadcast that game on, on, on I you stream? Be, if it gets played. If it gets played. Have he's that got game them out. like the play. He is. It's like Superman. He's hoping that he just like, like uh, not coming. Soon as he sees Adrian name. Well, on Andrew, the Andrew sees his schedule. He plans it out. Right. You know, he he'll he'll take a lamb. He'll he'll push the the, the the tough travel games to the back. I don't know, but we'll see. Folks, want to let you go while well, we still got a little daylight. Me and the stack is going to get out here. We got a little mini to fire up. Ed's got his shock top and a Stella glass. He's I'm all in. I'm all in. For the next couple of weeks, you want to know what's going on? I've got no political agenda. None. What you think, I'm going to say. Okay? This man. If it's in Philly, NEFL, all right, haven't I made you laugh? <laughs> haven't we been out on the road? Right, right. In parties? I gotta be one of the funniest guys in the league. You ain't what? seen nothing you, yet. You voted. Voted okay. the funniest man I, in the hobby. I'm gonna. And who is he? He's Edward Smokestack stack. Scott. The Stack. I'm Corey National Johnson. This is the Stack with Nat show. Hey, you. We, we really I love am. the uh, support you guys. Did you guys do the show? Did you do the show? We did the show. We're doing it for you. So as long as you guys enjoy it, we're gonna keep doing it. We're signing off. We are out of here. Audi 5000. See ya. Did we cover a lot?